What is going on guys? It's Arnim here and about another Minecraft video. In today's episode we are going to be looking at something new. We are going to be looking at this bow and arrow door lock. So um yeah let's get started. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Remember guys um please leave a like, comment and subscribe um if you enjoy so um when you want to get in here because we have some secret stuff down there so you can't hit the button and do it because that doesn't work it just doesn't you need to shoot the arrows at the buttons so this is my code in the form of an x shape so when you shoot an arrow at a button it stays like that oh look the doors opened because all the arrows are in there but what if I take the arrows back? The door closes. So I actually want to go inside my humble secret area. There we go. Doors open. Let's go inside. That pressure plate's only there just to, uh, if any of the arrows do spawn, you can get out. Yes, diamonds! Yay! Let's get out, collect my arrows, and just go. Don't want anyone finding my stuff. Dun dun dun. So let's look at the redstone behind it. Dun 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 dun. Basically, that's it. It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. It's not like really really compact, but that's as that's as compact as I can make it. I couldn't if I made this any shorter, it wouldn't fit the rest of the stuff in. So that's as compact as I could have made this. I'm sure some somebody's figured out how to do this really really compact, but this is my own creation and I think this works pretty well so what you will need is nine different color walls you will need about 98 pieces of redstone redstone repeaters redstone torches and blocks of your choice and I'm just gonna have iron for my one block of my choice oh and buttons as well wooden buttons I'm not sure if this works with stone button I'm gonna actually have a look, a little look now. So I'm gonna put a stone button there. Get myself a bow. I do my X. Nah, stone doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, so you can't do it with stone buttons. Has to be wooden buttons. Okay, that's cool. So we're gonna do it over here because it does take a bit of room here should be cool so what we need to do is you need to make a 3x3 three three wall so let's make a 3x3 three three wall here and place your buttons along the wall and then on the wall on so on my wall is going to be facing me this way where I'm going to shoot the arrows so on the back of it you want to place oh no really rain you're going to come back again Rain is just a piece of crap. Just going to quickly go check that all the redstone is still on here. Yep. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Sometimes the redstone, redstone decides to disappear when it rains. I don't know why. Anyway. So, you want to do that. So, now when you hit a button, the redstone torch turn off. Simples. Get rid of all this stuff. Let's get out our walls. Now, this is only tricky part so what you want to do is if I can remember how to do this now how many blocks out do I need to build one second guys just want to see from the middle here from this middle there how many blocks out is it one two three four five six and seven, so it's seven blocks out. Okay, I knew it was something like that. <clears throat> so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two block high tower should be in line with those. No, that is wrong. It should be there. Yeah, so it's actually, I think it's out six then. Hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay, out six. My bad, guys. My bad. 
Okay, that's in line. That's cool now. Now what you need to do is on each side you want to build out eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then after every two block, delete one. So one, two, one, two, one, two. And then same on this side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then delete block. Oh shit! Sorry. Delete block after every one like that. So you should have something looking a little bit like this. So basically, you should look like that. Then you want to get out a wall of your choice, and you want to make this top layer. So basically, just place a register, um, a block, a wall of your choice here, and then to the side, and then build it all the way out till you're in line with this last one, and then build this all the way out like that so you've done that layer then I'm going to use black wool here just do the same thing again build it all the way out until you've got to the last layer like so if I can even get it there there we go and then for the middle one just do the same thing again I'm just going to use pink wool just build it all the way out till you get there so that's that bit done so you've done the top layer, now you want to do these ones so you want to build a block like that, so obviously if you put redstone here it will power the block like that so yeah, <coughs> let's get my wall back so you want to have that and then you want to have it going, let me just remember yeah on the next, so you want to have this going to the next this block here so you just build it out like so like that and then same with the one on the other side using a different color wall so I'm going to use this color I'm going to use blue, you don't have to use this color, it's just any, basically any color of your choice it's just so it's easier when it's all color coded and all that kind of stuff and then the middle one which we'll do in a second we're going to do these out, outer ones first now let me just quickly just see if I can remember how this is all done, laddies. Sorry guys, I actually did this wrong. It's not like that, it's actually like this. I knew I did something wrong because it just didn't seem right. So don't make, just delete those last well it's not too hard to delete, you need you actually need to be like this, so I'm going to use blue wall on this side now it seems to be like that <laughs> sorry about that, I forgot about the um, spacing between each of these <clears throat> now you want to do this, so now these ones will come into there like so, so just get, I'm going to use green for this put green there and then obviously the wire will come out like that and then I'm going to use magenta wool so that will go there now we have two left which is these two in the middle here so for this one for the middle one it's like this so that block will be powered and then it will just go into here like that and then for this bottom one here you just dig one down now just dig two down and then just dig out until you see the light so there we see the light now and then put the block I'm just going to use white for this yeah so that would go there so now you need to put the redstone on there so guys get your redstone and start with this one we'll place it in here we'll get our white wall back and do this so then that's powered and then get your redstone bring it all the way up to the white wall here same with this one get it out from here same with this one here this one will obviously correspond with those but we'll, we'll um, put a block there in a second so it's all cool it's all cool bro let's not worry about it lads let's not worry so we'll just um, put this block here just to cut it off 
from those when they are on now we place oh I did two blue oh no I knew I did something I knew I screwed something doesn't matter if they're the same color wall it doesn't really matter to be honest it's just it just sometimes it help it's helpful to color code them I guess let's put that back there and let's do the same with here basically you just put in the redstone wiring along the walls and let's put that back there to block that off so now we'll do the top ones this one you can have it going across like this these ones don't have it on the top just want to start from there if you have it on the top it will correspond and we don't want it to join up with that not correspond I mean join <sighs> same on this side and now they should all be screw this up sorry about this guys uh, there we go now they should all be wired up like so so you basically you've done the hard part now now you want to like make your code so last time I did X I'm just going to do another X to make everything nice and easy so X is like that so what would be so on this this is find the line that's being pow that's powered by this button so it's this orange one here follow it all the way down and just place a block there and then obviously X you have that one as well going down so do the same with the black wall on this side so we've done those top two there for the X now we have bottom two as well so the that that's powered by not this blue one. So don't, last time I got confused. You don't want to do it with this blue one. You want to do it. This one is actually powered by that torch there, and that torch is actually powered by this line here. So you want to do it on this one, but you know you know you not you might not even do it X. So it doesn't really matter if you don't do an X. And then obviously this bottom one again not powered by this blue line, powered actually by the green line there we go and then we just have to do the one in the middle which is that one there so that one's just being done by this line here so we'll just put that there now get your redstone and bring it down to here on all of them just like that and this is where your repeater comes in and your redstone torches so then we just time set it today so then you want to get your redstone torch and put it on all the blocks that don't have these bottom parts on it like that and now after every two you want to place a repeater so after so one two and on the second one you place a repeater so this blocks one and two one two one two one two one two one two, one, two. just like that oh sorry I missed another one one two one two there we go so it should look like that then place redstone in between so they're all powered so it should look like that and this is your output block so this is this this is what will be connected to like a door or a light or something whatever you know you want to be powered so um we'll just bring this around the front and uh, not there so I'll show you so this will just power this block and then we'll have a light on top like that and then what I'm going to assume is going to make a um, inverter so place a block there and then place a torch here so that will turn it off so then we have to enter the um, right combination to make the light turn on or you know you could have like a 4x4 four 3x3 four, three three piston door here you can have any, anything you want I just had a um, uh, iron door over there but you can have anything coming from that output source which is right there as long as you have an inverter to you know make a tunnel if you don't have to invert you can have something else but you know yeah so now you just shoot your arrows in the correct combination that you made so mine again was in the shape of an X and there we go the light turns on same thing over here just that light didn't turn on it's the same thing look if you just see 
complete output, you have an inverter and it's just powering the door, as soon as I do it the door opens. So I hope you guys enjoy the episode, um, if you learned something, if you enjoyed it and if you're going to go put this in your world or whatever, please slap the like button, subscribe and comment on the video for more future videos. Peace out suckers.